as promised, we're gonna fly over the Inland Empire again. We're gonna hit a few different spots, not the least of which, Rancho Cucamonga, which is super fun to say. Oh, and real quick, while I'm being interrupted by this uh, transmission, I just want to point out that uh, helicopter fuel ain't cheap. So a quick word from our sponsor. I only wear flying eye sunglasses when I'm flying the helicopter. I have for years, long before they were a sponsor. I'm going to tell you why with blinding speed. Ironic. The temples are one millimeter thin and you can do this. Crazy thin temples mean a perfect headset seal, helping my active noise canceling headsets work correctly. I can put my flying eyes on and off without taking off my headset. It's also helpful when I'm wearing my helmet, which I promise I only use when I'm riding my motorcycle. The lenses are shatterproof polycarbonate and block 100% of UV light. Ah! And if you don't have 20-20 eyes, flying eyes makes bifocals. Use the promo code MICA for 10% off. There's a link in the description. So if you'd like to support the channel, support the sponsors that support the channel. Moving on. Okay, let's see if we can find the uh, Rancho Cucamonga High School. I don't believe that's it, but that is uh, some sort of educational. Oh, it's another high school. Well, as long as we're flying over it, let's fly over it. Yes, yeah, so we're flying just south of the 210 and uh, checking out the Inland Empire communities that uh, I haven't really been able to hit, even though I have gotten a ton of requests for, uh, for flyover videos. Ah, I see it. Rancho Cucamonga High School. Unless that's just some other random facility that has a football field. So, uh, a lot of swimming pools. Looks like there's a little bit of land for some of these houses. That's nice. I think this is appealing in a suburban way. And as a guy who has a uh, suburban life, uh, I, I dig it. Rancho, Rancho Cucamonga High School. Huh. That seems nice. I have no idea. When do you guys think uh, people will actually go to schools again? I have no idea. But when they do, a pool? What? My high school didn't have a pool. Well done, Rancho Cucamonga. Oh, and then I've gotten some requests to fly over uh, other institutes of higher learning. So I'm uh, heading for Chafee College. Uh, what do we have here? I feel like this is going to be like the uh, <laughs> the educational tour of the Inland Empire. Anytime you see a uh, football field, fly over the place. You're probably making somebody happy. Another high school with a swimming pool. All right, looks like everything's going great in Rancho Cucamonga. Then we've got Chafee College over here. In my university flyover video that I did previously, I pointed out I never went to college, so I actually don't know that much about like where the colleges are. Where do people go to university? What do they do there? Um, I also didn't know there were as many um, schools of higher learning uh, as there are. There, there's just like a lot of places you can go get an education. Who knew? We're going to head onward over towards San Antonio Heights, and I'm fighting a little bit of a headwind here. So uh, even though I'm in a uh, sky machine, I'm doing 73 miles an hour. Thanks, wind. You know what, let me deviate over here just a little bit. When possible, it's wise to fly over um, roadways like this. 
It, it, it actually re reduces your sound signature a little bit. It's important to fly friendly. The last thing we want to do is like a helicopter pilot is just go around making angry. I feel like I do that anyway, so I'm trying to minimize that as much as possible. But uh, trying to fly as quiet as possible is, uh, is a big goal. We're gonna hit San, Ant or, uh, yeah, San Antonio Heights up here. A request from somebody on Instagram. If you have a specific request, you can hit me on Instagram. Metaphorically speaking, of course. A little bit gusty, a little bit turbulent, a little bouncy. Okay, there are a lot of homes down here. Can you identify your home? Do you live in the Inland Empire? Am I bothering you with my helicopter noise right now? Tell us in the comments. I'm guessing based on the lack of a swimming pool and football field, this is an elementary school? Huh? Huh? This is why I get the label stuff after the fact. Because it's impossible for me to know all this stuff from the sky. we we'll get some frequencies pulled up here. After uh, we go over the um, San Antonio Heights area, which is uh, right off the nose here, I'm going to go south, cross over Cable, which is a, an airport just to the uh, kind of northwest of Ontario Airport. And then uh, we're going to go do some other fun stuff. Don't you like vague promises like that? Eh, just trust me, it'll be fun, it'll be fun. You'll love it. Like your parents planning a trip to the uh, Nixon Library, trying to convince you it's gonna be a good time. Oh, this is cool though. I see a dam. When you buy a house, you always uh, have, all, have to fill out all this paperwork and there's always questions about like, if you live in a flood basin or something like that. I'm guessing that the houses to my left off the nose here are the houses where they have to check yes. Oh my gosh. By the way. Just gonna come over here for a sec. Some very nice houses. Wow. Well, that's the way to do it. Up in the hills. Got your palm trees and your privacy. Sweet view. I'm into it. So uh, California, uh, specifically Southern California, well, all over California, has some amazing driving roads, and we are going to do some helicopter flights over them. Not right now, but uh, but soon. All right, we go south, fly over Cable, the uh, airport, not the thing made out of metal. I didn't expect to fly over a big hole today, but here we are. What a mining operation. And the water down there sure looks neat. Cable traffic, helicopter 285, two miles north, sound tra south transition crossing midfield, uh, 2,300 cable. That uh, is annoying. <laughs> At some point in the very near future, I'm going to have an annual inspection of my helicopter, and that is one of the things we're going to attend to. Cable traffic, helicopter 285, uh, midfield, crossing to the south at 2000. Cable. Skyline 302, departing 24, remaining in the pattern. Huh. 
Okay, let's see. We've got to hit Cable Airport. That's what that looks like. We're going to hit Claremont Colleges and Pomona College. And keeping track of all this stuff is crazy. <laughs> And since there's traffic departing up behind me, I'm going to continue south. Alright, so I wonder if he's doing right or left pattern. Probably left. Cable traffic, I got the 3 5 we're 3 south of the field, west transition, we have that downwind traffic inside, it's cable. Okay. Cable traffic, Skyline 302 is uh, left base, or 24 cable, full stop. So much stuff happening. Do 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 do. We're going to fly over a couple of uh, colleges, we're going to fly over towards Bracket. Tracker Tower, helicopter 9 or 285 over Pomona College. Uh, request lower approach to 26 left. Helicopter 9 or 285, Tracker Tower, make straight in for runway 26 left. Information Yankee is current 12709 or 29888. Use caution for birth. Uh, straight in for 26 left for 9 or 285. Flying over some colleges. Low approach to 26 left. And then if I plan this correctly, on the other side of the runway, we're going to get to check out Raging Waters. If the batteries don't die first. <laughs> A lot of education happening down there, or at least there would be normally. The nature of these flyover videos is very dynamic, so uh, I can't uh, account for everything. The batteries are getting low, so... Normally, I might linger over here a little bit, but I kind of have to keep moving, so we're just going to see what we can see and uh, keep hustling. Every day I'm hustling. Yep, a little bit gusty. Ah, uh, you know what? I see a ton of cars over there. Rocket. Rocket Tower, Archer 59055 Victor. Uh, East, uh, six mile is inbound for Paddle with Yankee. Okay, between us and Bracket North. Archer 5955 Victor Bracket Tower, I have you five miles west of Bracket Airport. Make right traffic for runway 26 left. They said east, they meant west. 26 left, thank you. But uh, the, the controller was really, really nice about it. That was cool. Continuing in for 26 left. Welcome to 285, runway 26 left, cleared uh, for the option and same tensions after the option. Uh, we're going to continue west over to El Monte uh, for, two, uh, for 9 to 5. Over to 5, roger. After the low approach, straight out departure approved. The wind 270 at 9 thank you. Cool. Okay. Pomona Raceway. This is a fun thing to check out. As a helicopter, I wouldn't normally be inclined to do low approaches to runways, but it's pretty mellow right now, and uh, my buddy air traffic controller out in Ontario, Brian, he, uh, he's like, yeah, he encouraged me that it's not that big a deal. It's actually, it's, it's quite, quite fine, so. Look at this. Pomona Raceway. Have you driven at Pomona Raceway? If so, what did you drive there? And look at all those cars. Huh. I'm guessing those cars are uh, unsold or, or rental cars. All right, let's get our low approach on. Bird. Coming in low over the drag strip. Is it crazy that I don't remember when I was here? I think I was here for a Mustang event years ago with Ford.
I'm starting to appreciate the majesty of a low approach. It's really more of a fixed wing thing, but... There's something fun about using this much runway for something that doesn't need a runway. That's a very low look at bracket. And up we go. Archer 55 five, Victor, runway 26 left, clear for the option, half the option left, close traffic approved. 26 left, clear for the option, 55 five, five, Victor. And look, watercraft. Is there anything more fun than a jet ski? I honestly don't know. I've only been on a jet ski twice, but uh, both times were kind of spectacular. Being on a jet ski makes you want to buy a jet ski. Do you own a jet ski? Is it the awesomest thing ever? Is awesomest not a word? Tell us in the comments. Oh my god, look at this house. Okay, I don't know who this person is, and I don't want to intrude on their lifestyle, but... Percy, that's a nice house. Also, they got a great view of raging waters. Not that they need it with that pool. Also, wouldn't it be ironic if the dam next to uh, Raging Waters broke? I mean, it'd be really on brand, but... By the way, if that actually happens, it's going to feel terrible. I think that was a very successful uh, tour of the Inland Empire. We got to see a lot, we laughed, we didn't cry, but I don't know, I could probably pour something out if I need to. Ah, San Dimas! Okay, I don't know how long the batteries are going to last, so I'm just going to let them run out while I uh, continue to fly. But thank you guys for all your support. Um, hit me up on Instagram if you have any spe special requests. Welcome to 285, uh, reset transponder, squad VFR. Yeah, squad VFR for 9285. I failed to, dis the, uh, to change my transponder code uh, back to 1200, which is where it's supposed to be, and the uh, controller was super, super nice about it. That was great. Air traffic controllers, they are the best. As I was saying, we'll see what we can see. Uh, thank you guys for all your support, and uh, I love making these videos. So if you like them, be sure to subscribe, share them, that kind of stuff. I'll see you guys next time. Cheers. 285, thank you for passing through, and contact all Monty Tower 121.2. Have a great day. Hey, thanks so much for your help. Appreciate it. Cheers. 285. Cheers. We really appreciate the uh, low approach. Thank you. Controllers, they're the best! High five, random controller. <laughs> okay, enough talking. Here's more of this stuff.